Hey guys, today I'll be showing you on how to fix this problem on your TV. If you have an LCD TV and the color quality is bad like this, this is very dull or very pale. Yeah, that is the original color. But on the TV, it is white. So if you call the service center, most probably they will change the LCD panel and this will cost a lot. But the problem is, as of now, Samsung is not reproducing the replacement parts of this model anymore. The last time that we replaced our LCD panel like this, it cost uh, 27,500 pesos plus 3,000 labor. So it cost more than 30,000 pesos or it's around 600 US dollars. But in reality, it is not actually the LCD panel which is defective, but there is something there inside that you have to replace. So now let's show you on how to open your TV. You have to remove the screws. There. There. There, that one. There. One here. Another one. There. You have to remove all the screws including this one on the board so that you can open the back of your TV. So I have already loosened all the screws but uh, I just leave all the screws on the holes so that it will be easy to put back. Then time to open. There you go. Now, this is inside your TV. This is the power supply. This is the main board or the logic board. This one is the backlight inverter. Three and this is your take on board you have to remove this in order for you to replace it remove the ribbon wire yeah just press and You have to remove also the four screws. It's difficult for me because I forgot to bring my tripod. And I'm using my left hand, even though I'm right handed, so it's not easy, you know. On other models, uh, the setup of the Tikon board is not like this. The problem with this is you cannot remove the Tikon board unless you remove the screws of the frame. So this is challenging on this model. This is a LA37 Hotel TV of the Samsung. So you have to remove these screws. There. Including this one. Uh, 
remove this plate first this is for the stand <laughs> see that I also have an electric drill, but uh, the screw bit was broken. Right. Then this time you have to remove these our screws down there. My Phillips screwdriver is brand new, so it's not yet magnetized. I have to put this on a magnet so that it will be magnetic. So that easy for the screw to stick on it. Last one. Hello well, guys, at first it was very difficult for me on how to remove everything because there's nothing on the internet showing how to remove or disassemble this. So this will be easier for you, this guide. Now you have to lift this frame in order for you to remove this plate. There you go. See that? Okay. Now that is the thick on board. Just remove this. There. So this is your Ticon board, Ticon meaning timing controller board. Actually there is only one component which is defective here. Not actually defective but uh, it's already expired. The limit hours already reached. So already expired this is that IC I've tried replacing this IC but uh, I realized this is a flash IC you need to flash or reprogram before using because if you will not flash it it will just uh, display all white you can order this stick on board online or you have to find a shop that is uh, selling this tick on board or find a shop that is repairing a tick on board. I have here another TV with same model but the problem with this TV is the power supply. So it has a faulty power supply but for sure the tick on board is good. So I will open this, remove the tick on board and use this to the TV. Now this is the Ticon board, as you can see there is a marking already, meaning this has been repaired, it was repaired on year 2015, 5 years ago, but still working, so I will try to take this out, and then I will use it to the other one. So if you are in the Philippines and you want to get your Ticon board repaired, just leave your comment below and I will share to you the contact details of the shop for repair. Now, 
I will install it here. You have to align the flex before closing the lock to make sure that uh, it will work properly or else we'll have no display there yeah. that's a good click so this one okay Let's put back the cover first. Now we will decover it. And next we have to put back the screw on the frame. But before you close your TV, you have to make sure that you have tested it before closing. Or else, if there's another problem, you have to open it again. plug in the power supply and the HDMI cable and let's try to turn it on right it's on but the welcome mode is on TV you can actually uh, change this to HDMI so that every time you turn on it will go to HDMI there you go guys as you see right that's the right color we are looking for right so now you have seen how we fix it we just change the Ticon board in order for our LCD panel to back to normal we don't have to replace the whole panel that cost us a lot or for now it is really a throw away model because samsung is not supporting this model anymore but maybe you already have smart tv iep tv at home but if in case you have this in your storeroom that's really junk you can have to try it so that's it for now guys thank you for watching and i hope you learned something today and if you have questions just leave your comments below and see you on the next video